Series. Yeah, the uh, 100th World Series underway under at Fenway Park. Boston, St. Louis, our baseball tonight crew puts you in the batter's box. He buried the New York Yankees and Mark Bellhorn doing the same to the St. Louis Cardinals. A home run in the bottom of the eighth helps Boston go on and take game one of the 2004 World Series. Welcome to Fenway Park. Harold Reynolds and John Cruck to get us through the highlight thoughts of Peter Gammons coming up in just a second. So here's Big Poppy, David Ortiz, the LCS MVP. Johnny Pesky played in the 46 World Series. Tony La Russa did not. But he's managed in a few of these. Jason Veritek not starting with the knuckleballer Wakefield pitching in. Woody Williams on the hill for St. Louis and early. Wild. Yeah, he was. And this is an indication of it. You're going to see this ball bounce off Cabrera's shoulder and nick him in the side of the face. But the story is Woody Williams. He struggled early with his control. We mentioned Johnny Pesky earlier. He's got a pole named after him in right field. And David Ortiz gone fishing with that pole. His fifth home run of the postseason. Boston up 3 to nothing early. And Woody Williams wild and getting hit hard. And I think that was a pitch right there that Woody wanted to bury down and in instead of leaving it up about knee high. David Ortiz ain't been missing that one for about a month and a half. The top three, one out. Red Sox got another one to make it four zip, now 4-1. And you're going to wear 33 in Boston and be named Larry. You've got to play large. And Walker did around the pole. Cardinals down 4-2. to two. Jump ahead. Boston built themselves a five-run lead. It was 7-2. Wakefield walked. The base is loaded. Matheny to right. Nixon, the catch. Edmonds, the tag. Millar, the cutoff. And then the meltdown. Seen a double clutch to Harold and threw it into the dugout. Yeah, once he double clutches, he probably should have held on to it. But even more so, Carl, the Cardinals stayed aggressive. Even when they were down 7-2, they continued to put the pressure on the Boston Red Sox defense. Bronson Arroyo had his frisbee working, so to Gucci who started in left, and Arroyo throws it away. Maybe he should have tossed that little frisbee to first there. It would have helped. Taguchi goes to second. The GM sits back down to watch this. Edgar Renteria past Manny Ramirez. So scores. Cards down 7-6. The five-run lead blowing up. Arroyo not happy. Next batter is 33. Watch Millar. Going down he goes. An RBI double the right. Walker begins a night of extra base hits. Seven and seven. In the seventh inning, Kiko Calero now on for the Cardinals. The baby bull, Manny Ramirez, after a couple of lousy walks by Calero, Ramirez to first and fired up. Red Sox up 8-7. Hang on, Manny. Back to first. Manny ran to first with his arm up like they just won the World Series. Not over yet. Not yet. David Ortiz back up, not getting walked. Oh, what a nasty hop off Tony Womack. Hit him in the chest, may have got him on the collarbone. He was taken out of the game, x-rays negative. And it looks like Tony's going to be back. He's, he, he got through this. He's going to be back wanting to lead off in game two. We'll see how, what happens there. See if he can convince Tony LaRusso to do so. Eighth inning, folks on. He comes on with one out in a big spot, and he cannot deliver. And then Manny kicks it around, which allows the pinch runner, Jason Marquis. Yes, he's the pitcher to score. Cards down a run, 9-8. Marquis called safe at home. Well, Ed Montague, great position, makes the right call on that play. He's still bobbling it. He's safe. Next batter, it's 33 again. Walker, flares went in the left. Manny's got it. Knee, ow! Dug a huge divot. Set himself rocketing up, and the ball went off his glove. Never went in it. Cedeno ties it. It gets away from Miller, but no more damage done. This is one of those cartoon moments right there, man. That was that was ugly. The divot caused a flip, and as only Manny can provide. Lucky he didn't hurt his knee. Both to Edmonds. Oh, on the inside corner. Montague punches him out, tied at nine after the eighth. Julian Tavares, or Julian Tavares. Capital J, he got jumped by Bellhorn, 11-9. Back-to-back, same pitch. Bellhorn had pulled one foul, the same yep. slider. That one he left out over the plate, and he got him off the pole. Boston dugout has to come out to see if it would stay fair. It hit high off the pole, just like he had done at Yankee Stadium against the Yanks. Then in the ninth, Folk, Roger Cedeno. Seems like the more pitches Folk throws, the better he gets. Boston celebrates a win. The final score was 11 to 9. Some bizarre numbers in this game. How about Woody Williams? He allowed seven runs and got only seven outs. 
Three other Game 1 starters have allowed seven or more in less than three innings. This was the third time that both starting pitchers lasted less than four in Game 1 of the World Series. Walker, the offensive hero for the Cardinals. Boston had a few of their 13 hits. Terry Francona gets his first World Series victory as a manager. And that was not an instructional video to send to the instructional league or something. You know, that, was, that was a little rough. I mean, on my way out here, I walked out through the outfield and I about twisted an ankle where Manny had his divot. And that was, uh, we did some things wrong, but we persevered and we won. And that's, we set out to win today, so it's really a great day. But we did make some mistakes that we need to clean up on. It's going to be a battle. You know, we're going to score runs, they're going to score runs, and, you know, it's whoever can get the last one. And, uh, you know, this, this team's got a lot of heart and character, and they uh, somehow I think we got the confidence to come back. So, so we do. They also had a 2 nothing lead. They won those two first games on the road.